Around 100 underprivileged families received food, including packages, today through the Belize City Council's newly launched Summer Pantry Program. Deputy Mayor Oscar Arnold says that CITCO has been receiving a number of requests for assistance, and so they partnered up with a ministry from Florida to help some of these deserving families in three constituencies, including Lake Independence, where the program kicked off today. We were getting a lot of requests for help for food items and for school items um, at the council. So along with SNB Ministries, Sister and Brother Ministries out of West Palm Beach, Florida, we came up with this idea that we would get stuff donated and then we would then disseminate to the kids them in the area. We're starting with Lake High, we will be in Port and we'll be in the Collet area as well over the next three to four days. A big part of the, the people were selected from those individuals coming to the council uh, that have stated a need that they have. We've also had individuals working in the different areas and so they knew or they know some of the individuals there, some of the kids that are needed. Um, we've had some debts from city council workers in the past. Uh, their families have been left without a breadwinner, so those are some of the individuals as well that will be benefiting. Um, we didn't go along party lines. This is reaching across party lines because, as you know, um, homeless um, and needy people are across party lines. They, that, that doesn't rec recognize a color. Sisters and Brothers in Christ Ministries through the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Florida work to gather the donations to bring to Belize. According to Donna Peart, the initiative was spearheaded by a Belizean who lives in Florida and the church and community came together to help the needy families. The storerooms were open and they gave and they gave and they gave. Even to the point where we were leaving, we were still getting stuff. And so it's a lot of donations from our brothers and sisters and our own investment in doing God's work in these end times. Talk to us about the donations. What items are we looking at? Yeah, so the items that are in, in the packages are backpacks. And in the backpacks, we have um, back to school supplies, books, pencils, crayons, all that back to school stuff. In the backpacks, we also have care kits, socks, toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, soap, shampoo, care kits. In those backpacks also, we have food. We have um, non-perishable items, canned food, peanut butter, rice, beans are all in that backpack. Um, in the barrels, we have clothes. A lot of the clothes are gently used, very good quality clothes. Some of it are brand new clothes that we've gotten from people to give and shoes um, is what we have in there. And these items may not seem like much to some, but these packages will make a big difference in the lives of struggling families. It goes a long way because we've had parents, we've had family members coming into the city council requesting donations for 25, 30, 40 dollars just to try to buy some school supplies or to maybe even pay the, the past school fees so that they can get a report card. Uh, as a child, I know what it, what it was like to go to school sometime needing some items. Um, a school bag, for example, can go a long, long way to try to make sure that you keep everything together. It builds your self-esteem, it builds your self-worth. It also makes you understand that people out there care. This is what the, the team of the city council want to, what we want to bring across. It's also SNB's ministry that they care about the individuals. SNB ministry really stands for sister and brother ministry. So once we look out for each other, once we look out for a sister and brother, then we're hopefully that we can have a, a better city and we can increase the self-esteem and we can increase the self-confidence of kids and families across the city. A total of about 40 barrels were brought in to assist some 300 families across three constituencies. A group out of Los Angeles also donated to the cause. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.